Hello everybody, welcome back to The Last Campfire. Today we are going to be looking and finding out where the heck this bowl of soup goes. Which is like double the size of our body. Okay, I'm exaggerating. That would be about half the size of our body, but it's still big. We're gonna go this way. And I don't know what the heck we're supposed to do with it. Like, are we supposed to eat it? Do, do we give it to somebody? I don't... <laughs> I've never had to deal with soup before. Maybe it goes to that uh, the forlorn that was talking about getting the soup. He was saying, hey, tell him when you're hungry. I don't know. But how are we supposed to jump over? I'm not sure it's about the pig. Oh. Fed to bursting by others, but without nourishment. This would give him nourishment. Where had the pig been before? And I wanted. What do you mean by who had he been before? I'm not. Is this like an afterlife thing again? There you go. Oh, he's purple. No, he's blue. The pig was joyous. What is this, Morsel? Stop calling Ember Morsel. My insides feel as refreshed as my outsides. That's good, though. I did not dream such food was possible. Apparently it is. We will plant a garden of treats. We will grow and eat like picky kings. Hey, I guess that means he's going to help the turtle get his orchard back. Compliments to the chef. That's good. I'm glad. They're all happy now. Okay, I think we, yeah, we got all the forlorn, so now we can go to the next area. Another campfire the restored. Said, you have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. You have done well to get this far, little one. One more place, I'm guessing. I will clear the path ahead for you. I want to talk to all the little forlorn first, though. It's open! Yay! You have seen another watching over you. Yeah. Yes, I have. They know the secrets of this place. Seek them out. Ooh, are we gonna finally find the red one? The lone wanderer? Whoever they are? I love the music. The music is so precious. The stranger said thoughtfully, I needed better friends. I can see that now. Okay. Better friends. The ember whispered, It's so long since I last felt heard. Oh, that's sad. The ember spoke hesitantly. Nothing is endless. Nothing. Except for code. Coding is endless. When you do like an infinite loop, then it goes on forever until the program crashes. Then again, if the program cra crashes, does that mean it's really infinite? What are you doing? Going around to talk that way. Gently, the stranger said, love survives us all in the end. Um, I think that one actually went over my head. I don't understand it very much. Courage, the Ember said. We should be more careful of each other.
Yeah, I can understand that because you can get hurt easily and others can hurt you and you can hurt others, so caution is... With love, the stranger said. I needed a friend. Thank you. <gasps> We're friends! Okay. What are you going to say? Softly, the ember said. Most people are unhappy sometimes. Don't you think? Hmm. I think that's actually a normal human trait to have bad days and good days of happiness and sadness and I think it's just part of being human. You just have some bad days. I can't see how it wouldn't be. Because things happen that upset us. Ooh, another map. The painting was the same as Embo had seen before. Two embers shone clearly in the daylight now, their journey ahead. <gasps> hey, this kind of looks like the ones that were in the beginning of the story. The little embers on their boats going down and then opening that bridge and then going and then the red one, red, went all the way through and missed by losing its, what is the boat's name? The paddle? Paddle, I think it is. Okay. The forlorn was cold to the touch, different to the others. The stranger spoke. Thank you for coming to help. I can't let another in right now. I hope you can let somebody in eventually. Ember shared a moment with the forlorn and hoped they would find what they needed. Hey, I think I just saw him. Come back. Birds. Well now, well now, we've been looking everywhere for you. Uh-oh. Oh, fun, fun. Oh, the wall they goes. Uh-oh. Hope you have a good excuse for running off, Scab. Ember's heart sank. Uh-oh. Tell the truth. Ember told the birds about all they had seen in the marsh, pleading for their help. Save your made-up stories for the Forest King. Yeah, of course. Oh, yes, yes. Tell the lies to the king. I don't want to talk to the Forest King. He's mean. And wants to keep forlorn where they are and not help them. Oh, that was an automatic cutscene. Up we go. Please don't kill me. Ember felt nervous standing before the king again. Hi. Frustrated, the forest king said. Poor tired Ember. Where did you go? To help more forlorn. You must rest now. I don't want to rest. I wanted to help others. You give false hope. No. Try and fail and hurt. This is all there is. That's not true. Ember could feel the forest king looking right through them. Okay. This end, there no more. Why not stop? Let go of this. Because we want to help others. You must stay. No more foolish hope. Hope is a good thing though. No, don't do this to me. Last chance. Take key now. Take key now. Make sure gates are locked. Let no more in. Let no more out. 
Let's not say we did. <gasps> oh, that key to get out. Okay. Ember took the key. What choice did they have? To fib again? Yeah, this really is your last chance. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna take that chance. Don't betray the Forest King again. I'm pretty sure we are most definitely going to be betraying the Forest King again. Oh, there's more new ones down here. The Ember looked proud. I've nearly earned my full feathers. How are you getting on? Oh, no, don't do that. The Ember hesitated. Oh, really well? Me too. I can't wait until everyone has to listen to me. Yeah. What's sad? Over here? The traveler looked lost. Have you been searching for home too? I wondered so mm. long, but something feels wrong out there. Out there? I'm not sure it feels right here either. Here definitely doesn't feel right. There's a big cauldron now. The stranger inhaled deeply. The cook taught me this recipe. Yay! Don't tell anyone, but the secret ingredient is pork. The poor piggies. With the big giant piggy. The stranger spoke earnestly. The forest king is right, you know? No, he is not. I've seen those embers turned forlorn. It's a shame they wouldn't listen. Ah. <sighs> They're allowed to go off on their own. It is allowed. Did I talk to you? Okay. Let's go down here. Yep, we can't actually go back down once it's brought up I guess didn't think that was a thing and then we have to go this way <laughs> nothing to do there <gasps> there's one right here the stranger glanced around speaking in hushed tones you managed to slip down to the marsh I did I think I'll look for the campfire there too please do they'll accept you up to you stranger with like open arms and be like, hey, hope is here. Rather than, you know, what the forest king. I don't like the forest king. He's being a jerk. Okay, we're gonna go this way. The crossroads gate was locked. Not anymore. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Other way? There we go. Every single time I try to turn this way instead of this way. Okay, we gotta move this. And I gotta move so I can move this. There we go. Whoa. Okay, move here first. Boop, it's stuck there now. Forever. And down the stairs. Wow, this goes down a lot. Oh, wow. We're really going down. Down the dark. Eagerly, Ember left the birds behind. Glad to be free. Yeah, same. The cave. Wow. That's cool looking. That start. Really? I can't bring that over? I guess we have to go to the other end in order to. Oh, there's a forlorn over here. Oh my god, it's a crabby! The traveler 
traveler whispered. Used to be a river all around here. Okay. Watch the birds build the dam night and day. It took them forever. They had no clue what they were doing. I wonder how long the Forest King has been here. It was hilarious. Can we unwrap this? It looks like a thing that you should be able to like undo. Maybe we get the dam going or break the dam so the river goes again. It was an abandoned boat, sadly stranded in the mud. It's okay. The crab disappeared. <gasps> they bury themselves. Then when you come close, waha. Okay, sorry. I got distracted. Um, nothing over here. I think the one thing I'd like really to do in games is make sure before you go to the area, you have to go explore everywhere else, so. Ember was at the entrance to a dark cave. The smell of stale water oozed out, like it had once been flooded, but now was bone dry. Because of the dam. Anyways, like I was saying, exploring everywhere so that you catch little glimpses of what the game designers put into the game and you get to enjoy the different things that like little tiny tidbits like that forlorn like if we had skipped and gone right to the gate we would have seen the forlorn wouldn't have seen the forlorn who decided they wanted to go to the marsh there we go i want to go this way first What's here? Um, there's definitely something here. Like, there's no way. Hi. I guess not. I feel like there had to have been, but okay. There's 100% gonna be like a lake going up situation here. Or a dam breaking situation. Cause you see all these little things on top. Oh, don't dig yourself. I won't bug you, I promise. Where are we going? This way, I guess. Well, what's this way? I'm guessing we can't go into the water. No. What about here? Nothing? Okay. Plus, in puzzle games, you really want to look around everywhere. Just in case to... Whoa, piggy. Just in case to make sure there isn't something vital that you're losing when you're trying to find certain items. The forlorn was not the same as the others, flinching at Ember's approach. Well, that's surprising. I thought they couldn't move. The stranger spoke. I don't want your help. I'm not ready to let go of how I'm feeling. That's okay. With regret, Ember moved on. I hope someday you can, you know, move on. Okay, we can't really do anything here except for go that way. Just double checking if there isn't anything else. We have this. It was a Gordian knot. Impossible to untie. What is a Gordian knot? Ember needed something sharp to cut it. Okay. I'm 100% gonna have to look up what a Gordian knot is later. If that's actually a thing, or if it's a game thing. We're looking for a knife, or scissors, or something. Oh my god, he has a pumpkin on his head! No. Boosh. Hi. No, let me through. Excitedly, the stranger said, Look, it's Iron Claw. Oh, it's a knitted cap, not a pumpkin. Friend, this crab is the terror of the marsh. We're not in the marsh anymore, though. Together, we can trap him. Can we? I've got a plan. Been waiting for someone to help. Sure. You help me, and I'll help you. Okay. 
I don't think I'm gonna Try like this. Rolling the crab over here with the chum in that bucket. Okay. How do we get the chum bucket? Oh, we just grab it. Okay, we throw it. That didn't work. Om nom 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 nom. Okay. He's not got eyes in the back of his head. Interesting. So basically wherever you put his... Okay. So this isn't gonna work. He's gonna go and then no eyes. And then back to the head again. Or maybe not. Uh, maybe here? Okay, I'll turn to the right. So that's what he does. So, right there. I didn't expect this to be a puzzle, which honestly I probably should have. Okay, and then all the way. Come on, Krabby. Uh, I guess there. <laughs> oh no! He's upside down! That's not very nice. Oh no. Crab is all yours. Didn't plan any further than this. Wait, seriously? Look at that claw, though, friend. Could do some real damage. <gasps> he is my clipper. Got it. See you later. I'm taking him to go clip a rope. Which is an interesting thing to make a crab do. Come on, little crabby. We got this. Na, 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 na. There you go. Where'd he... Poor crab. I'm sorry. So I guess this, this level features crabs instead of pigs and frogs. What about up here? We're going this way. Oh, this was that area before. And then you could just push it. So you can get back through if you need to. Which we don't at the moment, but if we do at any point, we can go back. Okay, how do I get down? There we go. Alright. Guess we go. There's this, so we gotta go to the other side. Ah, uh, nope, that's down where we go. Oh, hang on. Ah, okay. So we need to get on to, we need to get on to the platform and then bring it up one and then two. One at a time, you know. If I can grab it. There we go. Oh, go. There we go. Over. So what's this way? Uh, and the thought of the pigs from the marsh. With their apples in their mouths. Someone had tightly sealed the dam's mouth. Ember wondered what secrets it might spill. I think it spills water, not secrets. Wow. Okay, we have a lot of... In that case, hang on. Let's go back to this. Yep. Okay, we want to go up one more so that we can get that note. 
her right there. And get this. Inside was a scrap of wonder if it'll be about the dam. Less and less grows here. I dare not go in the caves alone. The spiders whisper. Their cobwebs glitter. I am not sure I am ready. Ooh, I don't think I'd be ready either. Are we gonna have to deal with spiders in the cave? I don't want to deal with spiders in the cave. Like, I really don't want to deal with spiders in the cave. Okay, back down. And then we can go deal with this. Oh, it looks like this one... Okay. Yeah, before we go up, I want to go down more. Yep, another note. The Wanderer's Diary. I'm still thinking the Wanderer's Red. Frogs play at the feet of fallen statues. Simple, splashy, happy little hoppers. They seem content in the home they've made. That's good. Frag frogs are adorable. I think they're the cutest. I really do. Don't know why. Uh, some people don't like them. Which is, like, fine. But. Okay. Oh, bring this down. Then go over. Then bring this one up. And then go on. And now we're here. We got a gate to go through. And this guy brings us all the way back down, but we don't need to do that. That being said, we're going to go up the elevator cage lift in the next episode. If you enjoy this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I really hope everybody has a great day.